right here. We've got a few <laughs> questions for you. Okay, so you guys are the Tasteless crew. So, how'd you like making your first movie? Um, it was a lot of fun. It was my first film this year. Um, we had to redo it a couple times. But honestly, <laughs> and why did you decide to first join the film festival? Um, I overheard Colin pitching his idea, and I thought it sounded really funny. And how'd you come up with your idea? Um, I'm going to be honest, it was my mom. And I used to ask Mr. Mr. Allen, and he said one day at... Uh, he was playing golf with his friends, and they made a joke about how it can be tasteless and like music and literature and stuff like that. So we get around about that. One, so. And how was it working with Mr. McCall? Yeah. It was such a cool experience. It's just like such a fun day. I just think it's so cool to work with the faculty. And, yeah, I was really cool to be able to do that with him. Certainly yeah. picked a good one. And do you have a plan for any movies next year? Anything to see? Oh, you guys. <laughs> Alrighty, well enjoy the rest of your night and we'll see you next. Thank you. So anyway, uh, for our audience at home, uh, just for starters here, who would like to give a quick summary of what this film is all about in three to five sentences? I guess me. Um, Introduce yourself. For my name is home. Colin Mahoney. I know I have a big fan base out there. Um, so, basically, it's a oh, bad voice craft there. It's okay, I'm sure people will forgive you. Yeah, people like that sometimes, you know. So, um, basically, Tasteless was about a kid who came back from COVID, but instead of losing his normal taste in food, he lost his taste in music and literature and things such as that. Very good. And what inspired this film? Um... My mom gave me the idea, and then Mr. Allen uh, heard from a friend when they were playing golf about how it would be funny if a kid lost his taste in like literature and stuff like that instead of just losing his taste in food and stuff. All right, so it was a comprehensive taste loss. Now, of all of the folks on this film, uh, who would you say is generally regarded as having the best taste? Me? Oh, um, I would have to go with probably. Like, who's the true trendsetter on this cast and crew? Um, I definitely say fighting Joe Lewis. <laughs> He's very stylish man. Only wears three sweatshirts, you know. So only three sweatshirts, like all at once or separately? Like, or like basically during the week, it would probably be like maybe two sweatshirts at max. So, not very... I mean, I would say it's pretty tasteless. So. so, there you have it, folks. The best way to be trendy. Make sure you only alternate between maybe one or two articles of clothing a week like a cartoon character. All right. Well, thank you, folks, for swinging by, and I hope you all have a fantastic evening. So, ta-ta. So, I want to know, what was the most fun scene to film? Definitely the one with Mr. McCall. He's a great guy to film with. He's a very funny guy. Very fun to film with. Now I want to know who was the hardest person you had to work with? Definitely on the Definitely this guy. I have to say, Yash. I would be honest. Yash. What do you have to say to defend yourself? I mean, my fans talk more than you. Well, I love your movie, and I think you guys will do great in the world. So great job.